Should I invest in cryptocurrency or is it too late? A lot of people have been asking me, hey Dan, I know you invest in property and creating passive income, but what about cryptocurrency? Should we diversify into different asset classes? So first of all, my name is Daniel and I create videos every week to help you to create more passive income through property. And I've been getting a lot of questions recently about people asking me, hey Dan, apart from investing in property, we might have one or two or three properties creating passive income. What are your thoughts on cryptocurrency? Do you, is it something that's too risky? Uh, should we even be looking at it? Uh, so I thought I wanted to share three very important points in this video for you to take note of that because you don't want to lose your money in any investment. So I'm going to, just going to share with you the first thing uh, you know, in terms of investing, for those of you who have money set in the bank account or fixed deposits, uh, it's great that you have saved up money over time, but you need to get this money working in assets. And for me, as all of you know, my main investment vehicle is property. Why? Because I love it, because it's safe, it's secure. I know exactly how I'm making money. I have control over the asset, meaning I can add value, I can renovate the property, I can rent it out, and I know I can get income. At the same time, there are other asset vehicles like cryptocurrencies, and then there are really two camps, right? Those that are crypto investors are really bullish. They think that it's, it's going to be a bull run for, for the, a big part of this year, and you, know, you could make amazing returns. So here is my thought on what exactly is going on with regards to cryptocurrency uh, and how even for us who are investing in property, what are some things that we should take note of? So firstly, let's look at this, right? Um, almost a fifth of US dollars were created this year, and this is in 2020 over here. So you can see that, wow, in terms of inflation, imagine all the money that's ever been printed. The Fed essentially printed another 20% of that just last year. So what this really means is that your, the value of your currency has essentially come down, right? Because there's a lot more paper money uh, or what crypto investors would call fiat money in the system, but the, the value of that money is no longer packed to gold, which it was in the past. So as a result of that, a lot of people are saying instead of holding fiat money or holding assets in fiat money, you should look into crypto as an uh, alternative uh, investment vehicle. Whilst that, you know, I, I agree that there's a, this, this huge um, impact of the Fed printing more money, it doesn't mean that now we should just, you know, not hold any fiat money at all. But rather, if you think of the Maslow hierarchy of needs, what are assets that would have inherently value? So even if, you know, the dollar in itself, uh, due to printing more money, devalues over time, assets like property are really something that, I mean, this people, is a basic need, right? <laughs> in, a, in the past, people lived in caves, uh, thereafter people live in homes. And moving ahead, unless there's a huge change in the way people live, regardless of how the, the asset is valued, there will always an intrinsic value of the asset. So even in times, um, if you think back to the world wars where the money was basically worthless, people started to barter trade for food and stuff like that. Uh, basic essential needs and property, having shelter is a, a huge essential need. Another thing to take note of for cryptocurrency, obviously, is the big volatility, which could be your friend or your foe. So you just take a look at this, and this is the chart for, for Bitcoin, right, which is one the, the, the father of all cryptocurrencies. right? And this is just over the last 14 days. The last two weeks, you see it from 52,000, you know, it came all the way down to almost 42,000, and it's going up. And right this moment, it's, it's uh, past 52,000 again. I'm not sure about you, for, for most of my investments, I don't like them to fluctuate on a daily, weekly basis, um, you know, 10, 20, 30%. And I know for cr some crypto investors, they say even a, you know, 30% market is very healthy in the short term. For me, it's okay if a very small percentage of my portfolio is you know being so volatile because um, and the the potential returns are higher. You know, with crypto, you could if you buy the right cryptocurrency, it could either go to zero, that means you lose everything, or it could you could make a ten x, twenty x. Some people say fifty x or hundred x returns, um, and in a very short amount of time. So I guess that's the benefit of of crypto investing. With property. Uh, you're not going to make 50x, 100x returns in one or two weeks, right? It's, it's more a tested and proven, slow, slower strategy, but I would say it's also much safer. You, the, no matter what, the value is backed in the asset. And we've seen some cryptocurrencies even in the last week, um, it, it basically went to zero. 
I'm not a financial advisor, but my thought on this is if you really want to get into cryptocurrencies to try to make some exponential returns, you want to allocate a small amount of your total portfolio, maybe 5% and 10% and let this grow. And the important thing is to be able to take profits along the way. So a, a great strategy is once it grows you know, 2x or 3x, could you then pull out your initial capital and allow the profits to rise. So this allows you to enjoy the exponential returns but not having to risk the, the value of the cryptocurrencies falling to nothing. The last thing I want to share, the last tip I have for you is you want to be able to create passive income as your primary strategy. So having different in active income strategies, be it trading in the stock market, working in a job that you have, or tra uh, trading or investing in cryptocurrencies to make a quick return when you sell, Ultimately, these don't fit the, feed the kids, right? You need to have passive income coming in from stable assets every single month. So this provides you with the financial stability, financial security to pay the bills, uh, you know, not need to be so stressed up over your job or worry about having to take a pay cut or losing your job. So share with us your comments below. Do you agree? Do you disagree with what I've shared regards cryptocurrency or property investing? How would you allocate your monies and assets to this? Uh, to enjoy the best of both worlds. So personally, for me, I invest a very small amount of my portfolio into cryptocurrencies. I am in the midst of taking out my capital from that. I'm going to let the profits ride. But my main investment vehicle is in property because it's about creating more streams of income that will, will be just coming in regardless of whatever you're doing. You could be sleeping and there, the properties, the assets are still working hard for you every single month. And at the same time, you're still enjoying the capital appreciation from these properties and will still make you exponential returns, but it's going to be over five years, 10 years, and ultimately you'll still have an asset that you can pass on to the next generation. So if you've gained something from this video, smash the like button, subscribe to this channel, make sure to turn on the notification bell as well so that when we upload new videos, you can benefit from this and be able to take action in terms of how you can create more wealth, more time freedom for yourself, and your loved ones. This is Daniel, signing out.